everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually going to be stocking fillers for my eldest two bill and daisy so if you want to get some stocking filler ideas and see what i'm including in their stockings this year then keep watching so starting with the stockings i have these and i've used these now for several years and i want to use them well into when the kids are you know teenagers and this is bill and this one here is daisies and i picked these up from mamas and papas they do a different design every year so i will leave a link down below for those if you are interested but on to the more important stuff. So my approach to stockings is to fill them with practical things and things that they can use over and over again like small toys or items that they wouldn't necessarily think of and little treats that can make the Christmas period a little bit nicer particularly that lull in between Christmas and New Year where the toys have all been played with but what can we do now like are there crafts that we can do is there a book that we can read that kind of thing. So I'm also thinking about myself as well as my kids and speaking of things to do one thing that I do every single year is that I include some books for the kids because I think it's really really important to encourage reading and that kind of thing and it's something that they can enjoy for the rest of the new year as well so for Bill I got him this and this is the Roald Dahl Whiz Popping Joke Book and it has over 500 jokes inside and it's really easy to read it's quite nicely illustrated as well and I thought it'd be really fun for him to like teach himself some jokes and he can take it back to school with him in the new year and try them out on his friends as well and then for Daisy I got these little books and now I love small board books like this because not only do they fit nicely into stockings for toddlers but they're great for taking out and about with you. So say if you go to family's houses over the festive period or you go out for a meal they're great to stick in your bag and it can entertain the children and this is a little learning library so it focuses on colours, numbers, words and animal sound and I just feel like this is something that she would really enjoy. Now next up on a similar theme are these and I just think that this is a really really good idea these are the cbb's magazine and the cbb's art magazine i'm going to put one in each child's stockings and this is basically something to do when we need a bit of peace and quiet maybe stan's gone down for a nap and the kids can entertain themselves so if we look at the art one here for example you can make a snowman a penguin and a polar bear there's stencils and stickers inside it's all christmas themed and there's plenty to do and i just feel like it prolongs the excitement of christmas and also gives you an activity to do with the kids when things are maybe getting a little bit intense say if you're going to visit family for example you can just take this along with you and you've got an activity sorted and I just think it's a fantastic idea. My kids get these magazines a lot because they thoroughly enjoy them and the thing is even if you weren't going to go and get one of these for your stockings you could get one for the run up to Christmas so for the Christmas countdown get them excited, little crafts to do at the weekend, things to do after school. The CBeebies magazines follow the school curriculum as well so you know that they're learning while they're playing and having fun and they're just so easy to do and really really worthwhile giving a go and then as well as the art one this is just the original cbb's magazine and this has a paint and play set you can paint a frog and a turkey and a giraffe and there's over 120 stickers inside and activities to do together or on your own and i just think they are fantastic and i definitely recommend picking these up because they are so inexpensive and a great stocking filler idea and one that will actually last and give your kids lots of entertainment the cbb's magazine itself is 275 and the CBeebies art one is coming in at £3.25 which are so affordable for stocking fillers and I really do think they're a good investment. So to go along with those and because we're always running out I thought I would get the kids some new crayons and felt tips. Now I've got felt tips for Bill because he's a little bit more responsible with them and won't colour in half of my house and then Daisy has these twistable crayons. I feel like it's a really good way to stock up on craft bits anyway and these will last them well into the new year and they fit in the stocking quite well as well so next up are things that the kids can wear because i think this is just a really nice thing to include in the stocking especially when they are pajamas now these were only six pounds each from georgia asda and they're nice and fleecy as well so i've got to build these with like lightning bolts on and stars on and daisy has this pretty pink pair with sparkly stars on and i thought that they could wear these on christmas day when they go to bed at night and we'll make them 
them feel nice and special and I like the fact that they're all gift wrapped as well so they're going in as well and then to go with that I've also got them some matching fleecy fluffy socks from Georgia Asda as well and these were three pounds each and you get two pairs in each set and I just thought these would be a really nice addition you know to give them nice cozy toes and they're a bit of a novelty factor as well which I think the kids will really like other things that I like to include are things that you can eat because we all love a treat around the Christmas time don't we and I'm really excited about these I feel like I've come up with a really good idea but I've got them a little make your own hot cocoa set now I picked the mini elf mugs up from next and then I bought this little hot cocoa set online from eBay of all places and he is a father Christmas and there's some sweeties and marshmallows and your own hot cocoa sachet and then you basically just add it to hot water and I thought this would be a really fun idea you know for Christmas day when we get home and we've had a really busy day after visiting family they can curl up in their new pajamas and have a nice hot cocoa and I just thought this would be really cute and they'll be really excited because my kids love a hot chocolate. Speaking of things that you can eat, I also have some chocolate because, well, it wouldn't be a stocking for my kids without a sweet treat. And I've got them some chocolate coins, which I actually just picked up from Aldi. They're really inexpensive there. And then I also got them these giant Kinder Surprise eggs and there is a reindeer one and a snowman one. And I just thought that these would be an extra added bit of surprise and fun on Christmas Day and then what I'm also going to add nearer the time obviously because otherwise they'll go off is a little satsuma each because I just feel like that's tradition and then finally the fun stuff just a few toys at the end just to add a bit of excitement and something that starts off the day because my kids open their stocking before they open anything else and I feel like this will ease them into everything that is lying under the tree so the first thing that i've got aren't strictly toys but i think they're going to make a lot of fun and it is these now these are jelly baths and i've previously got them bath bombs in the past which have always been really exciting but i just thought that the kids would love them and they are non-irritable and they're stain free as well so you don't need to worry about your bath and i got a princess pink one for daisy and a swamp green one for bill and i just thought that this would be hours of entertainment right there i just feel like i can run them a bath it doesn't even need to be normal bath time and they can go wild and play and have a bit of fun i'm really really excited to see what they think of these i'm, I'm excited to see what i think of them to be honest now another thing that i've got my kids are bubbles and i found these on ebay actually and they're a little bit different than normal because you can make your own color bubbles by mixing up the colors that you're provided with so you can make like orange and green and purple and then you've got blue red and yellow as well well, and there's a bubble mixing tube and I just thought that this would be hours of fun and it might get a little bit messy but we're off and we're ready to play with them and I got them one of those each and then finally as I mentioned just a little toy as well so Bill has this which is the Natural History Museum dinosaur torch and projector you can view 24 color dinosaur images and I just thought he would really enjoy that because he's so into dinosaurs at the moment and then for Daisy I have a little lol surprise little sisters um toy to open and like she loves these and I know this will make her really excited so that's a little toy as well and then everything else will be waiting for them under the tree so that is everything that is going in my kids stockings this year i'm really really pleased with what i've got i'm really pleased and i feel like i'm getting better every year that goes by if you would like to find out more about the cbb's art magazine and the cbb's magazine then i will leave links down in the description box below for their twitter and facebook pages but even in the run up to christmas i can definitely recommend these but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye